I saw this video and I just got to say something about it, man. <laughs> I just got to say something about this. I normally don't like talking about all this stuff on the relationship, this and that, because it really alienates my audience. But I have to say something about this video. Watch this video, man. So you see, the girl over there on the left, this girl here, is putting the wedding ring on. But then every time she puts the ring on, she has a visual of what marriage is like. And it repulses her. Because in her mind, marriage is servitude. Marriage is slavery. Running after a man, doing chores and all this stuff. Just look, look at this. Look, it repulses her. Do you think that's what being a wife, being a mother is about? Then she took the ring and chucked it in the trash. And one thing you would notice when you're watching this video is she's relatively beautiful. She's got cleavage out and everything. She's a very beautiful girl. One thing people need to know, especially young men, this video is going to be directly uh, towards guys. Let me come closer. Women like this, girls like this, beautiful like this, do not start to mature until their looks start to fade. That's close to about 40, 45 years old, 50. That's when they start. I'm not saying that's when they mature. But I'm saying that's when they start to mature. It's all fine and dandy. Oh, you want to be single and live your single life and be a city girl, living la vida loca and all that. When you're younger, you know, all vibrant. But when you're old and have got arthritic knees, who's going to be there to help you rub your back and cuddle you and make you hot chocolate and all that stuff in your ripe old age? You think you're going to be young forever? <laughs> oh, this is stupid. This is this, and this is the idea they're putting into young uh, young girls' minds that this is what marriage, this is what, this is what being a wife, being a mother is about. Being barefoot and pregnant, being a, a, like a slave to a man. You're doing your chores. You're doing all this by yourself anyways, being single. Right? If you marry, if you get a boyfriend and you marry someone that's not helping at all, that is just a man child, that's on you. You picked wrong. That's your own experience. That's not what men are. A man wants to help. Even a man that's mainly the breadwinner of the house. He's not going to come home and see his wife doing all this work and all that and he just sit down. Maybe he's in the home office doing something. He's going to help. Men want to fix things around the house. Majority of men don't even mind doing the dishes or sweeping the floor. Do These women don't know men at all. They think a man is a slave driver. You've been dating man child. You've been dating mommy's boys. And when you look at the comment section here, it seems like all these women have been shopping for the same, in the same stores for the same type of guys. They all have the same experience. And I'm like, I don't know anyone in my friend circle and my family that don't help out. <laughs> like, even the ones that are the main breadwinner, they still rush home after work to help their wives. That's what love is. You see, women like this, still they still have that kind of Disney fantasy mentality, oh, they want to be the princess. You know, for someone to come save them and all that stuff. Why they don't have to do anything? Or you have to just be pretty and just be asleep, be sleeping beauty, let some guy slay the dragon and come and rescue you. They want, they want to be in love. They want every day to be an adventure. No, no. Being a wife, being a mother, being, being in a marriage means you have to resonate with the fact that monotony is going to occur. Like, your days are going to start blending into each other. Every day cannot be an adventure. And a lot of these women, a lot of these girls, I can't even call them women. A lot of these girls cannot stand monotony. That's the number one enemy. You Every day cannot be an adventure. <clears throat> this is crazy. Stop giving young girls stupid advice like this, making videos like this. Especially now where anyone with a phone now has got a voice on the platform. You cannot start pushing bad fake news like this out there. This is not what marriage is about. No, this is not what getting married and having a partner is about. You marry someone or you be in a relationship with someone that you're aligned with. It's all about agreements.
commitment. It's not about being in love. It's about commitment. Being in love comes with an expiry date. Love lasts forever. You can still, you cannot be married with someone anymore after a divorced person, and there's still going to be a, 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 a there's still going to be love there. That person is still, still going to have a certain amount of love for you. There's some people I don't speak with that much anymore, but I, I still love them. But being in love, the whole, oh, some, some, something new, looking forward to every day with this person is just beautiful. It's not going to be like that every single day. And also, doing house chores and doing your kids, washing your kids' clothes and sweeping the floor and all that stuff, that's not slavery. Why do people think, what? This one says marriage benefits the man only. Look at this comment here. Well, her name is called Queen, so... You know someone who's always got like an entitlement mentality calling yourself queen. Marriage benefits the man only. Really? Only the man, only when the man is dead, then it benefits the woman. <laughs> what is going on? Where do these girls with this kind of mindset come from? This is the Disney programming, y'all. This is the Disney entitlement programming. What? I'm married to be a man's wife slash business partner. If he wants a maid, he can hire one. The, the, the mentality of these people. I'm 42 years young, left my husband 10 years ago, and it's been the best years of my life. So much less work, uh, life is so much easier. Just speaking for me, yeah, that's your own perspective, exactly. Just speaking from you. What? Look, if I finish work earlier than him, I'm sitting in the car listening to music until it's done so we can go home at the same time to cook and clean. This, <laughs> this, they don't understand men at all. They do not know men. They haven't seen an example of a man in their lives. And if you guys think it's bad now, I'm just, I'm, I feel sorry for the young men and the young boys in their like teens and 20s because in the next 15, 20 years time, there's going to be... Oof. You think this whole passport bro situation right now is, is bad? Just wait till the next coming decades, man. You're going to be shocked, man. These women are going to be left with nobody. They're going to be by themselves. You're going to see it more rampant as the years go on. It's so hard to have a one-income household right now. Why don't you find a guy or a woman that you align with, that you have an understanding with, that you guys can build together? It's not about servitude. Nobody wants to make you a slave in the house. There's some crazy men out there, but you have to know how to pick. If you're in a relationship where every single relationship you've been in, all the guys have just been the same, you have been picking the same guys. You've been picking the same wrong people. You don't know how to pick. Maybe you need to fall back and recalibrate your mental system. Don't listen to these people, man. Young girls out there, don't listen to these people here, man. They make you feel like marriage is such a bad thing that it puts the woman in a perpetual state of servitude. That's not it. If you don't want to marry for whatever reason, that's your reason. But don't come out here and try to push this ideology on a bunch of young girls and let them try to influence them by behaving like this, making them think, oh, marriage is not for her or maybe marriage is not for me too because all these women on TikTok are saying all the same thing. But you can't take relationship advice from TikTok. <laughs> it's a bunch of crazy people on TikTok. <laughs>